Hello and welcome to week 16 of the Premier League predictions where we're starting our mammoth task of having show after show back to back as we have loads of midweek games coming up last week which was our festive fixtures or as do festively shit only 4 out of 10 saw correct results all the rest were big fat red blocks you guys uh, made 2 the average winner 3 winners here on this part our most common score being the Wolves Tottenham game which played out earlier today we also have some winners on page 2 as well uh, including Jake Paddy uh, so well done to you five for being our crown winners this week. Let's see if we could do one better and get three right as our target. Anyway, thank you again for predicting, as always. Week 16, starting with Palace Leicester, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is tomorrow, and I'm going for a 2-0 Leicester win. It's a bit alarming for Palace now. They're in a situation where they're not scoring goals, conceding quite a few. Leicester, they'll be wanted to recover after their little 2-2 draw. 2-0 to the wayside in this fixture. Moving on to Chelsea versus Villa. This is a tricky game to predict. A lot probably will be, be back in Villa. I am go back Chelsea though as a 2-1 win. Uh, it'd be a very challenging game, a very good one to watch as well. Uh, that's why I'm going for the 2-1. Uh, scoreline on here could go either way. Everton versus Manchester City is also a very good match to try and predict. A very tough one as well. Manchester City, I am backing for this as a 2-0 win. It seems Everton haven't really proven yet if they can win these big style games. And Man City are trying to break into the top four now. 2-0. Yes, right. Uh, Arsenal got that big win against Chelsea. And that will give them momentum. And they'll probably come out with an unchanged squad. They're against a Brighton side who've had the better of them in the last several meetings. And this was the scoreline last time they met at the ground. I'm going for that scoreline again. 2-1. Burnley to beat Sheffield United 1-0. I mean, this is what, what we're calling this a Brexit derby. I mean, this is you couldn't get any more Brexit than these two teams, can you? 1-0. <laughs> uh, boring. Moving on. Next game, please. Come on. To Southampton against West Ham. Now, West Ham have had the better... Uh, in the last five head-to-heads, they've been the better side. They've come out in front. And Southampton now, I think, what, winless in four games? I'm back in a 2-1 West Ham win. Uh, West Ham, it's going to be a tough game. They've got the 2-2 draw as well. I'm back in a Leeds United win here. I don't think many people expected West Brom to get anything from that Liverpool game. But they did. And they go have that momentum. They go try and push out. They just don't have that firepower. I am back in a 2-0, though, to the, uh, the Whites. Manchester United versus Wolves is always a tasty fixture and I'm quite looking forward to this. I think it might be a goals galore as well. Back in Manchester United though, they're just racking up the wins. Granted they had a draw in the last game, but they know they've got the firepower. It's going to be an interesting game. 3-1 to the home side. 2-0 uh, to Tottenham. Tottenham not really being tip-top Tottenham as uh, Derek Ray probably says um, on FIFA. <laughs> I'll go for 2-0 to the home side. Uh, Fulham they're picking up the odd point here and there. It's not good enough though, is it? It's not stringing big points together back in the home team. Uh, I think Liverpool as well, they'll run riot here at St James Park. I did predict more. I am going for the 3 0 uh, in this one. Interesting game though, I wonder how Steve Bruce will react to it, especially seeing how West Brom did. We'll see. 3 0. And that does conclude my predictions. As always, there will be a match template in the comments. Uh, it's quite a short notice as well, so you've got tonight and tomorrow morning. I will see you in several days' times. Hope you have a wonderful post-Christmas celebrations, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.